Hello, and welcome to another episode of Yugi Openings. It's been a while, uh, it's been like a year or something, if you don't count the advent calendar, since I've opened any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And uh, today, I thought we'd take a look at this 25th anniversary tin. Uh, I'll, I'll take off the wrapping in a second, we can actually take a look. But I saw this in a local card shop kind of recently, and uh, it looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to go take the wrapping off, and then we'll take a look at what the tin has to offer. All right, there we go. So it's unwrapped. So we'll take a look uh, at the top are, of course, the anime protagonists from each of the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Yugi, Jaden, uh, and all the others. I've only watched Original and um, Zexel. I can't remember, isn't it? Yuya, I think. Uh, and on the side are some very iconic uh, monsters. Dark Magician, Exodia... Is that uh, Red Eyes? Uh, I think... Is that Blue Eyes? Is that Ultimate? Uh, Neos, I want to say, the hero guy. Not sure on those ones. Uh, not sure on a lot of these, to be honest, but uh, I am quite a casual uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fan, to be fair. So, But uh, on the bottom here, it does say this is the 25th anniversary tin, uh, Dueling Heroes. It's very reflective, it's hard to read, I do apologise, but it comes with three Mega Packs. Um, the Mega Packs contain cards from the set listed here, if you want to have a read of them. If, chances are, if you're watching this, you're probably aware, and you've probably watched better people open this. Uh, but the thing that really entices me is there is one quote, quarter century secret rare card in this tin, uh, and it is of one of these monsters on the tin. So... That's kind of what enticed me, and I haven't opened Yu-Gi-Oh stuff in a while, so let's take a look inside. Uh, it is embossed and stuff. I'm going to flip that wrong because I can't quite read what that is. We'll take a look at it in a second, obviously. And of course, we have the three 2023 Mega Packs, which are upside down. There you go, uh, 25th anniversary tin, Dueling Heroes. I uh, can't remember how many cards. Okay, this is a first edition. Let's go. I'm pretty sure they're all first edition, always. Uh, and obviously there's nothing under here, I presume. Go put the lid on. So, let's see. Uh, what was our quarter century secret rare? I would keep it till the end, but eh, I might as well reveal it now. Oh, shit, son. Okay, it's Dark Magician. Let's go. Okay, I, w I was expecting to pull... You know, one of the, the ones I didn't recognise, but I mean, I'm happy with anything, but hey, I'm not going to take it out of this right now because there's not much point. Man, I really like the hollow effect. It's kind of like lines. It's a bit like, it's a bit CRT, if that makes sense. Uh, much like all of these special Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well, absolutely impossible to read that. If I didn't know this was Dark Magician, I would have to have, like, angle this particularly just to read it, but hey... That is very cool, though. Very happy with that. It is just the one card, I do believe, so uh, there's no point opening this up. But hey, that's a, that is a massive success. I'm going to go put that in the back there. Um, and I guess we'll crack into these packs. Now, I don't know the card trick. Um, I don't know where the super rares and the secret rares and stuff. Does it say on the back? No, I was hoping for um, an explanation of how many of each rarity cards, but all it really says is that there's no card guaranteed in any pack or box or anything. It's just a legal disclaimer, I guess. So we're going to open this one blind uh, and go through it completely unsorted, and then I'm going to try and work out where the, um, where the like, secret rares or whatever are. Good lord, there's tons of cards in here. Um, the the bottom did actually say actually that uh, this is a particularly large pack and they weren't lying. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because I don't recognise a lot of them. But you know we'll take a look anyway. We've got Libromancer Displaced. Uh, we've got Ice Jade Creation Kingfisher. I love the art of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's kind of what brings me back. Supreme Sea Mare. XYZ combine. Okay, they've got these cards still. Oh, nice. We've got a Me Merry Melfis. It's very cute. Uh, we've got Ice Jade, G Note, Enion Cradle. Uh, Therion Stand Up. This is our first. Actually, was that a rare? Um, no, that wasn't a rare. Okay. 
we got our first like super rare, I want to say, because it's got a hollow artwork. Ooh, this is like a uh, secret rare, maybe. Camelot, Realm of uh, of Noble Knights and Noble Arms. Very nice. That's very cool. Uh, we have Overfusion. Very cool. Okay, so we got two of the same type of rares. We've got Runic Tip. Uh, that is a rare. Oh, is this the quarter century rare? Because it's got like the like man. I really like that um, that hollow design, like the lines and stuff. It makes it look like a CRT screen. That is really cool. I mean, Runic Tip. I'm not sure is a hype card or anything, but we've got Bestial Saro Saronia Saronia. Very cool. Uh, S Force Retroactive. Uh, and that's a. That looks like a regular rare, I think. It's just silver lettering and the art isn't. Things. So then we've got Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch. Okay. We've got uh, Dracoback, the Rideable Dragon. That does look like a, dra a dragon that is rideable because it's got a riding thing on it. We've got DDD, Rebel King Leonidas. Ah, I think I've actually heard of this specific card. Um, or a Leonidas. I don't know if like Leonidas has appeared. Obviously, you know, the uh, leader of the Spartans. We've got Runic Smiting Storm. We've got... What? Cu cucumber Horse? Sure. Okay, Cucumber Horse. <laughs> that sounds like it would be a meme from like early internet days. We've got Runic Dispelling. Uh, oh, that is the last card. Right, I'm going to work out now where all the hype cards were. It'll be obby. All right, so by the looks of it, uh, I'm putting seven to the front, but the first card is going to be the rare, because for some reason the rare is behind the two like quarter century rare cards, which is kind of annoying, but eh, I, I, I don't mind as much. Um, unless each pack has a different number of these potential rarities or something. I know Magic the Gathering does something to them, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven to the front. Aha, I feel embossed writing actually. So let's see if I got it correct. I did. Hey, so this is Clear New World. So that is the rare. Then these shouldn't be rare. <laughs> We've got Melfi Staring Contest. I think I would lose that to the hamster. Uh, next up, we've got Baku the Beast Ninja. Very cool. I really like that. We've got Simil Archfiends. Oh, we've got a uh, uh, one of those pendulum things, and that is Armor Factor Pain, the Imagination Draco Overlord. That was that a good lot. They're really like trying to fit all of that in. That is the longest name I think I've seen so far. We've got Breath of Resurrection, Branded Expulsion. We've got Brilliant Rules, a Therian Irregular, okay, there is Eka, the Flame Buddy, ah, that's, that's cool, it's a, it's a, what, I don't even know what's going on. We've got a Scareclaw Straddle, a Scarecrow Balloon, I hope, I hope we get more Cucumber uh, creatures, we've got a Predaplant Triantis, I've heard of the Proud Plant uh, archetype. Hey, our first rare is a Naturia Camellia. Very cute, it's like a, a jewel frog, I guess. Our oh, next up is a Alba Linatus, the Abyss Dragon. That's very cool. Also, let me know in the comments if I've pulled anything, you know, that's cool or wherever. I think they're all cool. Um, I'm not going to sell them or anything, but, you know, we've got Groza, Tyrant of Thunder. He's pretty cool. I like the uh, white cards. These are uh, Synchros. That's the name. Our oh, first century rare is Destructive Daruma Karma Cannon. That is very cool. Yeah, it makes everything look a bit like 16-bit, sort of, uh, you know, yeah. Very much digging. That has a very cool mech creature thing. And our second quarter century rare is a lovely labyrinth of the Silver Castle. Ooh, she is a 
very cute uh, priestess kind of lady, I guess, with the quarter century thing. Very nice. Right, okay. On to our last pack. Uh, it's been a quick one. I mean, relatively quick. None of my videos are quick or to the point. But, you know, I, I was tempted to buy two of these, but then I thought, well, they're £17 uh, here, which is close to $20 or something. I thought, I like it, but I don't know if I'd want to drop, like, close to £40 for, like, a card game that I enjoy, but... I sort of like very casually collect for. Two, three, four, five, six, seven to the front. We're going to start with the rare, and that is Mitsu, the insect ninja. Oh, we got another waifu. Nice. They're on the, uh, the waifu train. I'm glad to see that. We've got Underworld Ritual of Prediction. No double so far, which is pretty cool. We've got Kagero, the cannon ninja. Okay, lo lots of ninjas in this pack. Noel Knight. Kastenin. Very cool. We've got in Infer Infernal Infernal Queen Salmon. Cool. Okay. Uh, we've got Ninjutsu Art Tool. Iron Digger. That does look like a way to dig with, you know, ninja art. You've got Black Feather Whirlwind. That's cool. I don't know if any of the, like, other cool monsters from the tin are in this? Probably not, but we've got Amphibious Rug Both MK, uh, sorry, Bug Roth MK11. That's very cool. It's like a mech spaceship thing. Ichiroku's Ledger Book. Okay. We've got a proper Gundike. It's proper, mate. Uh, is the next one... No, I thought that was hollow. We've got Therian Cross. The next one's going to be the super... Uh, no, it's not. We've got Predaplant Bufolicula. 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 Before he licks you, we got DD Griffin. Why only the two Ds? Isn't it DDD? Is that not the... Or is DDD like the, the, the next step in the DD archetype? Hey, our first uh, super rare is a Fracky, the Ku uh, Runic Fang. Sorry, oh, ah, yeah, Runic is an archetype I've seen a lot of. Oh, our next one is Runic Golden Droplet, the cute uh, elves, I guess. Are they Runic people? Is that the whole thing? We've got a Libromancer Fire. Cool, he looks happy but also ready for a fight oh, he's singing and ready for a fight outside this train station or bus depot oh yo we've got the zombie vampire the one that one zombie vampire dude he's very cool that's an xyz card ah oh, that is man i i just love the like look of black cards like the black xyz monsters and stuff they're just they're so cool yeah, oh nice, even, I've just noticed, even the stars have this, like, kind of CRT filter over them on the hollow. That is cool. And our final card is, ooh, it's a Blackwing, Blackwing, Sudri the Phantom Glimmer. Cool. Um, I know Blackwings have been a thing for years and years. Uh, I want to say that was... Uh, oh, no, not Arkvi. I can't remember the one after GX, but whatever that one was. I remember Black Wings being a big thing. Well, that was kind of fun. Um, maybe not for you guys watching. I'm sure anyone watching who's a Yu-Gi-Oh fan is probably shouting at the screen that I've got loads of things wrong. But hey, I'm just happy because I've got this cool guy here. Look at him. Honestly, the, the one pull that like, I most wanted was actually Exodia. But I then realised, obviously, there's 25 of these fellas, 17 a pop. I don't think it's worth buying several of these in the hunt just to get the one Exodia. I could probably buy it as a single for, like, I'm guessing these aren't going to be super expensive or valuable. But I really like the design, though. Um, or the hollow pattern, rather. I mean, the design, you know, it's been 25 years. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll probably be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff in the future. I will be doing a lot more Pokemon stuff. And maybe other TCGs. I've I've kind of been tempted to try out the One Piece TCG. I'm I'm fairly new to One Piece, but eh, maybe. But anyway, uh, I'll let you get on now. I'll leave you a playlist of my other trading card stuff there. I'll leave YouTube choose another video. And until next time, 
Goodbye.